Hey, hey, how's it going? How's it going, man? Hope you guys are having a good night, a good time. There's a, uh, a Kino Casino. There's a certain casino that's on fire right now. Uh, I'm not really going to talk about that too much on the stream, but you know, why not? Why not? <laughs> I've I try to keep the uh, rent and chill, game and chill stuff separate from my, uh, I guess, the internet drama stuff or whatever. Uh, but if you don't know, there's a show, Kino Casino, and this guy, Mr. Medicker, and he's trying to go in there to save the day, and it's not going well. It's not going well. May play some of that here in the background while playing Castlevania, Super Castlevania 4. But... You got to be, you got to control your own show. And the show here tonight, the show over here is Gravity content. And I'm not going to confuse you guys by mixing the voice of Mr. Medicker and this guy named PPP who's a bloated well. I think I could say that on Twitch. And a coke fiend named, named Andy Worski. I don't want to confuse you guys with the sound of their voice and the culture you're going to appreciate here tonight. After that, if the chat wants, if there's anyone in the chat that cares, I'll play the uh, Kino Casino Mr. Medicare Hour thing. Uh, while playing Castlevania 4 and share my thoughts on it. Now, let's get into this. Our Lady tonight is Murashima Miyu. Murashima Miyu. She is a graver model. She is also a former, I think a current also, J-pop uh, star. Okay, you see that quite a bit. You see that very often, a lot. It makes you wonder, like, if you were to compare that to, um, to like, the West, to America. I'd be like, okay, so you have a pop star who then goes Playboy, but not Playboy. Maybe more Maxim. Maybe more uh, swimsuit edition of uh, Sports Illustrated. I'm not sure if this person does JAV. And what JAV is, is porn. Okay? Um, let me fact check that real fast. Let me go ahead and put it on here. And I'll fact check real fast if... Uh, of Murashima Miyu has ever done JAV. I'm curious. You're curious. I'm sure you are. Uh, let's see. Well, hold on here. Maybe she has. Maybe she has. Well, I don't know if that's her, but that's definitely naked. I can't I can't share that on the screen. I can't share that on the screen either. I can't share any of this on the screen. I have a similar first name, different last name. Hmm. I don't know if she has. Wait a second. Watch Idol. I she possibly. It looks like Looks like she might have done it. So it would be the equivalent of like Britney Spears doing Playboy. Okay. Who wants to see that now? No one wants to see that now. Okay. But back when she was in her prime, people wanted to see that. That's what this is. That's what what we're experiencing here. Okay. Not exactly. We're seeing we're seeing her in the Gravur model. Okay. Which is in line with the Twitch TOS. As much in line with the Twitch TOS as all the other um, ladies that dress bikinis. 
in appropriate settings and all that. Okay. This Murashima Miyu is a uh, lovely Japanese woman. She's easy on the eyes. Um, she is an idol. People like her voice. People like seeing her. They want to worship her. They probably want to smell her feet, worship her body, probably want to wear her skin. I mean, how far does it go? It goes pretty far. It goes pretty far. Let's watch her. Let's watch her right now. Okay. Now, the music for this video is probably copyrighted, so we're just going to not play it. Um, let's go ahead and crank up the volume, though. I think she's talking. Let's hear her talk. Because you understand exactly what she's saying, right? You understand what she's saying? She's saying, hey, guys, watch me. I'm going to model. I want you to see me in my situation as a model. I want you to be on the ground with me, be part of it. That's what they do. They're very inviting. They're very friendly. The West could really learn something about the American, uh, about the Japanese way. The Japanese grab room models, th their approach to modeling puts the West to shame. You know, the West in America, you know, a, a model will model, but then be like kind of ooey and icky about her fans or whatever, because, you know, she might feel like they kind of want to like, you know, grope her or something. It looks like, and I'm pretty knowledgeable on the subject here. I've seen a, a lot of grabber models and videos. They have a very sunny disposition. They invite random strangers to hug them. I don't know about that, but they, they want their fans to hug them. They want their fans to be part of it. They want, they, they know how, they know how to give their fans what they want. And that is. That is a sense that they are, that the love is shared and is mutual, even though it's probably not. Okay, let's go ahead and play this. Look at that. She's saying, my, my white knights, my lovely fans, please follow me as I go on this adventure. Sunlight outside. No, that's not sunlight. Is that? There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice umbrella. That WW right there, though, that that we just missed. <laughs> that's usually like a bashful thing, like a like a lewd thing. So in context with the umbrella, with that face, what's going on there? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. All right, we're going to go model today, and you're going to love it. You're going to laugh. It's going to be great. It's going to be a riot. All right, they're playing music. We're going to just not listen to the music. All right, there she is modeling there, uh, wearing the dress, looking great, looking fantastic. The white top is looking great. Oh, there we have there the uh, swimsuit looking fantastic. There at the beach, which is appropriate, which is appropriate there. G great swim... <laughs> Look how light she is. The wave actually moves her. Look at that. Uh, now we're going to a pool. The beach was too rough, too much. Look at look at that. She's eating a hamburger. This is a lie. We all know she's not allowed to eat that. We all know what's going to happen. She's going to eat that, and she's going to be told, you got to throw that up. All right? She, she already knows. She already knows. She's going to eat it. She's going to enjoy the taste, and she's going to throw it up. Okay? That's not real. That's not real. That's the only egregious thing from this that you're going to see is that you, you see this petite Japanese woman eating a pretty big hamburger. Okay. That's not reality. That's almost happening here. If you eat that kind of burger, especially on the regular, you're not going to look like that. Impossible. Not happening. Not happening. She says yummy because that's the only meal she had in like weeks. Okay. Now she's happy. Would you take us on the journey? Would 
Tony Stark. She knows what's going on. She knows that her fans worship her. And I totally understand. I get it. Oh, we're listening to the music again. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there another muddling moment? Uh, it's right here. Oh. Or bikini. Good and appropriate. She's using water. Um, she's playing with water. She's posing there, modeling, which is an art form I think Twitch uh, appreciates. I think Twitch is pro uh, art. Sure, they're not um, misogynistic uh, uh, bastards. I'm sure they're not. They appreciate uh, art. Okay, that's what's going on here. Lots of art. Lots of art. Lots of culture being appreciated. Okay. There's our graver culture appreciation moment of the stream. Or is it? Because I do have other things. Like the truth behind Japanese maid cafes are the this video where these various models try on bikinis. Are this Korean band named Rolling Quartz, like Rolling Stones, but Rolling Quartz, uh, play their first solo concert? We could watch that. My question is. What do you want to see? You see, there is a live stream going on right now or a certain cancer man, Mr. Mediker, going on to the Kino Casino to try to save the day, save the show, because it's in the flames. Like, the whole chat has turned against it. The audience has turned against the show because of how disingenuous the hosts are. Don't do that. Don't be fake. That's like the biggest fail here. As they're fake, their audience knows it, and they turn against them. We'll play that when I play Castlevania 4. I think what we'll do, we'll have one more cultural moment. One more cultural moment. This video here, go in line with bikinis, go in line with appreciating it's summertime. It's summertime. Do you really want to know the truth about made cafes? I think you'd rather be ignorant and believe that they exist to serve you. Do you really want to watch Rolling Quartz? No, you want to see ladies in bikinis. It's summertime. It's a cruel summer, savage summer. The heat is unbearable. Let's see if we can get something pleasant out of it. Here we go. This is on the channel Ramu. Ramu is a graveur model. Um, she's done great stuff. There's also a video that I commented on where she's riding on a fat boy, a Harley Davidson fat boy, which is the kind of motorcycle I ride. So it was kind of cool. But anyway, let's play this. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, under I know you understand the Japanese very much. I believe what they're saying is it's time to try on our swimsuits. We could put on auto translate, but it's going to be garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have it here. Our first lady trying on this swimsuit. Uh, it looks brown. Okay. That's fine. And it's not. <laughs> it's not the best. But it's fine. It's okay. It kind of it stands out. It's all right. It's all right. It's nice. Like y y the cleavage is there. Um, it's not distracting. In fact, it's so like the color. You almost don't even notice it. What you notice is the cleavage in in, in the body and the frame and all that. Okay. Let's be honest. When we watch people swim. Especially if they are attractive or watching how their form is flowing through the water because it's all art. Human bodies are art. 
okay? Look at how she's posing there, very artistic. It's like she's sculpted by God himself, probably. I don't know. Uh, the Bible says nothing about the Japanese or Asians, but yet they, they embrace it. They embrace it. They embrace it. Okay. Now, she's telling us that another lady is posing with the tsunami. We have this. We have this. I'll tell you right now, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. It looks more like an apron. It looks more like, are you cooking in this? Are you swimming in this? You have me confused. Uh, are you... Are you coming to the pool to bring hot wings and beer? Oh no, you're gonna go swim? What are you doing? You're wearing an apron. How are you gonna swim in an apron? That's weird. We're not skinny dipping in this pool. It looks like a dress. That's not even a swimsuit. She gets a fail. She gets an F for, for failure there. An F for failure. An F, okay? All right? We're going to skip that. That's not a bikini. That's not what we signed up for. Skip. Oh, here we have a one piece. Now, one pieces can be kind of intriguing. And this is an example of that. What's going on with this one piece? Well, let's find out. It's kind of confusing, right? It's a one piece. But what are those straps going under her armpit? It seems kind of redundant and stupid, right? You can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Just keep... You see what I'm talking about, right? The strap that's going from, uh, going be, you see it, right? It's going from up here to, from her shoulder down to her armpit. Just get rid of that. Get rid of that. You don't need that. That's that's dumb. No reason for that to be there. It doesn't make it look cool. Now, now, the straps on the, the straps, uh, on the waist. Do make it look kind of cool. Kind of. It kind of reminds you that that waist is a good waist. That, that, that is some good. There's some good hips right there. That's what that is. Looking really good. Also kind of reminds me of Ghost in the Shell in a, in a bit. Which is not bad. Not a bad reminder at all. But. And here's the thing too. These ladies are all friends of Ramu. They're all best friends. They uh, they have like parties together in their apartment, in Ramu's apartment. So don't get your hopes up, okay? Uh, I don't think they swing with the boys. I think they, uh, I think they're, you know what I'm saying, okay? They swim with each other. They play games, all sorts of games, wild games. You you wouldn't. She's a TikToker. She's a TikToker. Wow, I wouldn't be surprised. Everyone's a TikToker. Who's not a TikToker? You're 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 neighbor's probably a tiktoker your mom is probably a tiktoker your grandma's probably a tiktoker she's freezing cold that doesn't look like acting she does look like she's cold okay um oh there we go nice nice cultural moment there let's back up let's back up again let's go forward back up there we go good cultural moment really soaked that in there now we have a two-piece that looks like it was cut out from your grandma's couch okay like i get it i get the flowers i get the hawaiian thing but um this actually looks like a dress sorry it it looks like it was a dress my grandma would wear but then cut up into be, being a uh, a swimsuit this is weird this is weird all sorts of weird it just it's not I get the flower thing, but it should be brighter. Okay, the flower should be brighter. It looks dull. Um, I kind of like the brown swimsuit in the beginning. The brown swimsuit was the best swimsuit. This, this, I'm like, just what are you doing with that? Take it off. Just take, just take it off. It is horrible. Just take it off. It's garbage. You're no. It looks like crap. Take it off. Take take it off. It, it would be better if you did. Okay. All right. I was a little harsh, but I was having fun with it. Now, let's play Castlevania 4 and listen to the voice of a cancer man trying to save the day, trying to save a casino from burning down. Now, 
I know Twitch has a TOS about words. I don't think those words will be used here during this stream. If it happens, we will pull the plug on it immediately because I disavow any usage of slurs or bad words. I mean that. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this on the screen here and go ahead and put on the sounds of the Cancer Man. Hey folks, welcome to the... This is the sounds of the Kino Casino and the Cancer Man. You hear it? 21st edition of the Rake Back. It's the Black Jack for the house, or are we going to get blacked? I don't fucking know, folks, but it's time to fucking gamble. It's now, hold on. When I said I disavowed bad words, I didn't really mean that, but now I kind of do. Like, PvP has already used the word fuck in ways that... Like, how many times do you need to say the word fuck? I get it. I get exciting it. fucking events throughout all this last week. We're going to address all the controversy, all the fucking drama. We've got Daddy Jim. My dad is here with us in the casino. This is what's to on the screen. The hard -hitting this is questions. why I don't have it on the you screen. Know, this is what you're missing. funny with me and Not Jim. Much. Started out, I was grilling him about like a payment processor. Then we ended up doing some <laughs> shows together, felting Ralph, felting others. Now it's gone full circle. So for context here, <laughs> actually, I don't have to give you any context. I think it all will, will, will reveal itself in the end. Stay with me. It's like poetry. It rhymes. Now Jim's going to be grilling me about the payment processor. So let's see how it goes, folks. Th that's right. I'm, I'm here with the tough questions tonight, boys. Oh, very and I, I think I think the, the open... Now, I will speculate here. I don't think Mr. Cancer Man Medicare is really going to deliver the hard questions. See, there is some context I will deliver here, okay? A long time ago, a couple years ago, that man there and that colorful gross disgusting shirt went to Medicare and grilled him about being involved with Dick Masterson and his payment plan called New Project 2 and was a huge Karen Spurg of conspiracy and money laundering that really didn't have any proof of it whatsoever okay it was just weird and um it ended up costing Medicare money, costing other people money, and now it's happening to PPP or the, the man in that the colorful shirt there. Why? It's irony, guys. Irony. Irony. Because this show, this Kino Casino show with this uh, bloated PPP and the Cokehead Worski, they were using this payment processor called PowerChat, which is seems kind of questionable if you know anything about it it's tied with america first nick fuentes baked alaska those people so you understand it's kind of maybe seem kind of sketchy but they use that knowing that knowing that why because they weren't gonna there wasn't gonna be a cut taken out of it they wanted the whole donation for themselves so they would have that close association with america first well making fun of Nick Fuentes and Baked Alaska, but using their payment processor. Okay. Kind of interesting, right? Now it's Mr. Medicare grilling PPP. Is this going to be a grill? I don't know. I think it's going to be softball at first, hardball later. Maybe. We'll see. Opening question that we should start with is, what made you both decide to handle this in the most retarded fucking manner possible? Well. Stop. I don't. I don't approve of that word there. I don't approve of that word. I just want Twitch to know. Um, that's horrible. Th that is horrible. That's not me saying it. That's them saying it. I don't approve of that word. I think they deserve 100 lashes for saying the R word. Can we make it happen? You know who you're dealing with, right? You're dealing with the retarded Phoenix and retarded the fat Phoenix. retarded Canadians. So some there's, there's more of that. There's more R words being thrown out. 
is horrible. Sometimes, Jim, you fuck up. And uh, it is what it is. You fuck up. You try and learn from it. You try and do better. But yeah, you know, that with the handling of this hasn't been the very best. No. I tell you that. Well, I've seen the revolt in your chat. I can see partially it's still going on. I'm sure some of it's astroturfing, but you get a lot of tomatoes. Well, and I yeah. saw that I saw that your your Jannies uh, had an uprising. Are you Jannyless tonight? Yeah. Well, uh, the <laughs> the Jannies that I have, there is an uprising in that chat. It is pretty bad. It is pretty bad. In the first place, they're not anybody that was close to us to begin with. They're guys that I literally mod like three years ago just for fucking fun, and they barely ever fucking modded anyway. But yeah, they weren't happy either. The long, all the long-term fans aren't fucking happy with the direction of the show, and I'm uh, I'm willing to admit that. <laughs> you know, some of them aren't happy. But yeah, that did happen. But it's not the first time we've had a chat revolt, and it probably won't be the last. That's but it, that it is the first time you've had a Janny revolt, though. <laughs> no, not I... this is the first time they had a revolt like this. A chat revolt and a Janny revolt is pretty bad. But even their their mods were sweeping things up. I understand from my, from from what I understand. Actually, no. <laughs> I mean, what, Sargoy's, was, was I your, mean was... Sargoy has refused to sweep it up for fucking years. I took away his broom momentarily. I gave it back because it's his destiny to sweep. But he's revolted in the past. Has he? Yeah, he's, he always like I tell you, he keeps bad. Listen, Sargoy back in the day was one of the most ruthless janitors I'd ever seen back in the Cooking with Surfer days. Holy fuck, he just kept banning me. I said, Sargoy, why do you keep doing this? And he was like, oh, I don't know, man. Like, they're just bastards. So, so now, uh, well, the, the, re the reason. See, I that right there sounds like a lie. It sounds like a lie right there. The reason I'm going to tell you that, I don't, know, I don't know anything about Sargoy, but I do know PPP, PPP to understand when he's lying. He says, oh, he, he gives you, oh, uh, he, Sargoy used to be the most ruthless moderator, but he couldn't give you one example. You just made some shit up. Okay, whatever. Anyway. And I bring it up is we're unprotected tonight. The chat can say whatever they like. There's no yeah. there's no channies there, there, there to sweep no, it. There are no channies to sweep it up. Only us, Jim. No, Andy, Only Andy, will, will you do me the favor? Sure. Because that chat's on slow mode. I want to see how fast they can throw tomatoes. Will you unslow mode that chat? All right, Ashton. Well, I'll have to. I'll have to. Andy, or, well, Ashton, can you yeah, unslow on. mode that chat? Let's see. And Let's let see. the people speak tonight. <laughs> well, well, unslow mode it, Jim. Let's see here. Where is it? See, I don't even really know how to fucking do this. This is why you shouldn't have fired your Janice. Unslow mode the chat. Well, listen, the Janice don't really do anything, Jim. You know that, fuck. Let me see here. Uh, the Jannies don't really do anything. Don't... That's cute coming from uh, this guy. This guy. Okay. Really cute. That guy wearing that that Vegas vomit of a shirt, okay, would go on Nick Ricada's stream and tell him about Jannies and all this stuff. Moderators, okay? Carpet, by the way, carpet bombing is streamed with all sorts of slurs, knowing it could be possibly taken down and messed up on YouTube on the, for the purpose of that. The purpose was to just completely disrupt everything on purpose. He knows what moderators do. He knows what Jannies do. <laughs> he knows what they're supposed to do. He was against him a long time ago, back when he wanted things to be chaos on the internet, chaos in the chat. But now he's for it. I don't know. <laughs> I actually oh, don't know. You know, I'm not okay. There it is. Okay, here we go, Jim. Here All we right, go, everyone. You gotta remember, fly. buddy. I fly. used to just fucking stream with a fucking phone, brother. You they know, need, they need the catharsis. They need the fuck. There oh, we go. Yeah. There you go, there Chad. It's, it's, there it is. Oh, it's blurry there it now. Is. There's so many. There's Chad, so can we many. see? Can we see 2,500 tomatoes getting thrown at these fucks? Come on. I know. There's a little. There's some mad oh. there. They're, they're, Let it out. They're, they're rattled, Jim. They're rattled. Well, we do have a lot to talk about. There were there, there were some stuff I wanted to talk about. I have some uh, clips too that I think uh, uh, will elucidate uh, the conversation. Elucidate. Uh, I know okay. that's a, that's a big word if you're a day drinker. How are you doing, Ralph? I'm sure you're stream sniping right now. 
Uh, but you know, we'll we'll get to it. But uh, I, I guess it goes down to like one of two things: one's the personal, one's the professional. What what do you boys want to start with? It doesn't matter, man. Honestly, whatever you want yeah. to start with, we can deal. Anything's with. good, man. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's start with the professional because I think the power chat thing's the big thing. Sure. Yeah. Um. So. I guess my introduction to what was kind of going on with that or what the concerns about that were were through Twitter. Now there's an account that Ralph is convinced is a transsexual Antifa member that's hunting him down at the VHS archive. Uh -huh. uh, they had brought up information about Beardson doxing some of his uh, uh, donators through mm -hmm. PowerChat. Uh, and then it got into a conversation about who owns that platform as a payment platform. You know, like who who is the person behind that processor? Now my, you know, take on this was that it was lose, right? Yellow. Yeah, it was, an, it was an IP2 thing that he did it himself, and uh, that's not the case. And in fact, it's it's a lot worse than it looks, uh, especially given the interview he gave about three days ago. So I, I kind of wanted to get into that. Like, were you warned? Because I know Godwinson did a video. I know other people have talked about this. Um, were you were warned, you warned? Did that you there know? were issues that were potentially there with PowerChat you know and that it was not a safe Chat. payment processor to use for donators? No. Uh, how it started That's was a lie. When we were, I was on D Live with Kyle. That is a lie. The way he said no right there. He wasn't warned. He didn't know Power Chat was associated with Nick Fuentes and Baked Alaska. Don't believe that at all. Um, sure. So he's friends with all the IP2 stuff. We covered all the IP2 stuff all the time. That's right after like the whole January 6th thing happened and they removed our, our lemons. Like anyone who was kind of edgy. So Lulz, um, he was streaming and then it ended up uh, releasing, it was called Lulz.tips yeah, at first, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So then we were, I had access to it and we used it ever since uh, for like, what, two years. And I think it turned into Power Chat about six months ago. From what, what my understanding uh, was and, and Ashton's understanding was Lulz had a buddy, like a, a a developer, a buddy uh, who made this basically to have people not get banned for IP2 stuff or for whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, that um, that developer, according to uh, to him, uh, an interview he gave to RV Andy, I think it was three days ago. Mm. Um, so that initial developer was Bake's close friend. That's yeah. that's a person that set the entire thing up. The guy this... went by the name of Saint, right? And he, yeah, he was a developer, but yeah, I uh, I hadn't even he... heard about that. Um, right, and he and, and to be fair, he walked away um, because he thought that IP2 were too degenerate to to provide financial services. <laughs> wow, I wonder so maybe why. that's you know initially where some of the split came from. But yeah, um, so a lot you, of the split also came because of what Baked was doing as well. Yeah, because yeah, he heard. had an issue with Baked Alaska asking women to show their tits and shit like this. Yeah. So he wasn't on friendly terms with Baked Fox sure. since last year. So, okay, so uh, Luis, put, or Luis, whatever, puts up his uh, payment thing. He can't even say his name. Whatever the fuck it is. He changes it to Power Chat. Um, you guys use it. When did you first start hearing that there might be an issue with it? If you didn't hear about it at first, when did you first start hearing concerns about it? That was when, uh, I think it was when Baked said something a few weeks ago or some shit. Where he, he said something along the lines of, Oh, I I own part of a power chat, and I was like, what? Because I had never heard any of a, a baked um, owning power chat. And as soon as that happened, Ashton and I got into a call, and we said, look, we can't fucking you know like use power chat if if baked's involved. And there was also talks about Nick possibly taking a cut of the money or some shit. So that was when we instantly went, okay, look. We're all really but squirrely what there. We knew about Power Chat. It was the Saint dude. Uh huh. But we didn't, but he the was so. Is Andy uh, Worsky is in Coke Feed. And it's hard to trust the word America of the Coke Feed. And all this stuff. That's what we heard from some people from behind the scenes. Sure. The minute, the minute we heard Baked say that, it was like, oh, what the fuck? And we instantly took and that off. It yeah. was the same thing with Jaden, who was public enemy number one of America yeah. First, continued to use it after he left America First, and he was the treasurer of the America First Foundation. Mm -hmm. So if there was any risk, you know, Jaden would have known. He kept using it. The reason that both him and us discontinued it is simply because it, it, it looked yeah. bad. It, it undercut the message, and I would like to apologize to anybody Same. who felt like the message was undercut 
by our use of that service. But I think that everybody's information is safe, but I do understand. I would really hope so. It'd be really unfortunate if, uh, if an American first person were to get that information. Stand a lot of people would be upset. They're like, this undercuts the message. This is associated with these guys. And I get that. And I think, to be honest with you, if I had to do it again, I wouldn't use it. Yeah, I think it was a mistake. But I think everybody's information is safe, and I haven't seen any information that would prove <laughs> to the otherwise. I will so answer. Not... I will also bring up one thing. We talked about this last week, but I'll just bring it up because I'm sure you'll ask us. So what happens through power check just so people know i'm how sure you'll ask you us. don't actually it makes me wonder if if this is kind of scripted i'm sure you'll ask us right medicare right Enter your information into power chat there is like a thing where you can put your name and your message and all that stuff that's what's entered into power chat and it uses a piggyback system off a, a, um off paypal and all that to sort of like be like the middleman yeah it's now, a back door yep. yeah, it's the back door now the thing is, and I, I've said this before, is that when you use your PayPal, if it's a personal PayPal, there is a way, and this is like many donation services have this when they use that backdoor, is you receive an email um, from, from their PayPal saying, blah, 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 donated, blah, blah, blah. So that's when Beardson, that's when this whole thing started like, it was right, I think, a few days before the big uh, announcement. So, wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. So, they're using a payment processor that America First, Nick Fuentes, Baked Alaska people use. And the PPP was saying, it's going to be a okay, guys. Don't worry. They don't have your information. But here we have it where Andy Worski is trying to say how someone like Beardson, who's an American First, Nick Fuentes guy, kind of figured out that they're using. Uh, power chat because he was receiving notifications an America first guy Beardson a Nick Fuentes right hand man sort of guy was receiving notifications when people were to donate to Kino Casino using power chat well I don't think your information is very secure at all meant that he owned power chat was Beardson was pissed off at a donator and he actually opened up the PayPal email and went, hey, whatever his name was. And then he said it like over and over and over. This is when people started saying, oh, does it get your, your, your a, a credit card information? Does it get your this, that, the other? And the answer is no. Um, oh, 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 that's juicy. But it gets your information to where you can be doxxed, where you can be ruined. Oh, you guys, you guys are just going to walk away from that, huh? Be like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. We didn't know. We didn't know anything, guys. It, your information, your first and last name was given to America First people. Okay. You guys can't walk away from that clean. You're screwed. You're screwed. Why would anybody trust anything these two guys have to say? And so far, Mr. Cancer Man has been, been pretty light. Wow. There were people on Kiwi Farms, two people in particular, who really showed no evidence that it was power chat, but their the cards were compromised. But I've been using it for what two years now, and hundreds and hundreds. Andy, you are not a good uh, uh, a character reference here. You can't use yourself as a character reference. You would literally snort coke off of your parents' picture frames, okay? Family photos, okay? Andy Worski, this guy here. I know I make coke fiend jokes. I get addiction is, is an issue and it's hard to fight. But he lives at his parents' house. He's like in his 30s, lives at his parents' house, and he's doing drugs. Okay, This guy uh, makes a lot of money on streams. And what does he do with the money? It goes right up his nose. He's not making any effort at all to uh, better his life. In fact, he's doing everything he can to destroy it because he hates himself. And he secretly just wants it all to end one day. Maybe he'll get fentanyl one day. I don't know. I hope not, though. For, for Twitch TOS. The people have donated. I've, I've asked many people, hey, is your card okay? Da, da, da. I was asking a bunch of people. No one's information had been leaked. So these two random people with no evidence uh, said, oh, yeah, it, all, all my information was released. But that is untrue.
Sure, uh, I, and, and I can understand that. Yeah. I think a lot of the confusion right now is what's the involvement, who's involved, how does this even work? How does Power Chat even work? Now, I, I, you know, oh. I know when Luis started this, he, they didn't make any money. That's not true anymore. Off Google Pay, it's now 10% fee coming off, 3% for Google, 7% for him. Now, he claims in his interview that that 7% goes to the development. But if Power Chat is charging 7% a fee between that transaction, where's that interception happening? Are they charging the person as a transaction happens so they get both ends of it? Or are they just charging you after you receive the money? Damn it. Well, he from, doesn't go on to explain I believe, that. I believe it's after we you receive it. Yeah, correct? because so say Birds. you donate whatever, uh, like ten a bucks uh, to me, the PayPal fee I get is not 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 uh, not, not, not uh, PayPal Google Google Pay. Oh, that um, that I'm not sure because he's I, not doing PayPal yet. He said that you know they're they are planning oh, on making oh, no, no. Uh, money in the future, but Google right now they're they're the fee is ten percent. Oh, for Google, uh, see, uh, all you I can't know even is talk. what we receive is a percentage of the total donation. So if you donate a hundred dollars, go ahead, Ash. I don't know if that's quite. I mean, that's I'll, literally what he said three days ago that's, in an that's interview. That's what he said. Okay. See, from what he I, said, seven point one percent is going back into developers, uh, which I guess leads me to this. I think maybe this would be good. Um, this was one of my concerns, uh, and I'm going to put it in the the little sidebar, little, sure. little thing on the right. Um, hope to try not to show the link okay, guys, to, the, okay. to the chat. I'm gonna oh, hide. Oh, listen, I'm, it's Mission Impossible. Doo -doo -doo. There's like, Doo -doo -doo. like this. Is there meat uh, down there? I think uh, there's meat down there. Meat okay. shows uh, the link everywhere. So let me. Nope. So I time I'm gonna die to it. a frog. Have a timestamp on it. Um, it's only like a minute long from this section of the interview. But sure. you know, when we were talking about who's involved in this, who owns part of it. Um, you know, yeah, obviously Bake's friend was involved shit. in the beginning, but this I found to be really fucking concerning. Sure. Um, and this is what Luis said on interview, um, himself. Uh, one second. Are you uh, serious? I made sure. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. You're Belmont or whatever, Belmont, whatever your name is, and you died to a frog, to a swamp frog. What sort of nonsense is that? How does it make sense? Look how many muscles this guy has in his freaking thighs. And he dies to a frog? Get over yourself, man. Anyway. Sure to hide the screen for now. Sure. Just so we don't get uh, anything crazy happening here. I swear, okay. That. If it shows by accident, I truly oh, am I'm sorry. Bird, this dude. thing works really weird. So, all right. Please be good. Be good. He's trusting a link. What's, what's he doing? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. We're good. It didn't show the top there. It didn't show the bottom. Thank God. Okay. Yeah. Just just let it play for a little bit, and then I'll, I'll tell you when to pause it. Sure. I should be able to hear this right when it plays. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Do you hear it? So. Yep. Yeah, All right. It. Perfect. All right. Let's watch it. What percentage of the Power Chat staff are Groypers. Um, like, like, well, who owns a percentage, or well, like, just developers? like people on the team, you know, people on the team. Would you say they're mostly all groipers? That's a tough one. I think the developers are mostly groipers, and it saves us money. So um, they're mostly America first however, guys. Everybody on the team is sound like an NDA, and they they cannot disclose information to like <laughs> literally anybody first? else, like without Policy. risking themselves being sued. Okay, for you want to pause so, it? So. Sure. Yeah. Do you have so, after Bake's friend leaves, it, this is where things get weird for me, right? So, all the developers, I mean, that's that's what he's talking about. All the people developing this fucking thing on the back end are all groipers. These are American first people working on the back end of this. But don't worry, they've all signed NDAs. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> it's very sketchy, yeah. It seems super fucking suspect to me. I... Earlier in this interview, when he's talking about Nick Fuentes and getting drunk and talking on stream about him and how they made up, he says, oh, I met with Nick Fuentes and, you know, we, we worked it out. But the weird thing is, Luis says, is I met, I was going to meet with him anyway. I was meeting with Nick's developers and my developers. Well, what do these two guys develop? Well, Luis works on Power Chat. That's it. And Nick, the only fucking thing he's developing is Cozy TV. So it sounds like that was already a pre-planned business meeting. And those leaks that were, you know, rumored to be going around about Nick wanting a cut or how things were going to be run. And now we find out that, you know, Baked was involved at the very beginning. Luis won't tell how much of a stake. He won't say 
Uh, Baked owns 50%. It's less sus. than that. Oh. But at the same time, he won't say who the majority owner is. But during no time during this interview does he say, I own the majority. Or, you know, uh, third this third party owns the majority of, of what this is. I mean, his plan is, and I don't blame him, man. You know, is I want to make this... Uh, the super chatting uh, thing and then sell it years from now and make some money. I mean, more yeah. power to them. But it seems like AF is balls deep in this fucking thing. They were balls deep when it was starting with Baked being uh, involved yep. initially and his friend developing it. And, you know, it's weird that he'd say, they're all groipers, it saves us money. Yeah. Why would hiring groipers save you money? I mean, well, what does that because mean? Because they, they do it for free. free, right? So when Saint does development on it, he doesn't expect a salary. Same thing when assistant Groiper developed, or not assistant Groiper, but what's his name, first guys. helped develop free. Cozy TV. He, he didn't draw a salary for that. These people believe that they're helping restore the soul of America, and yeah, they do uh. it for free. So that's why it would save them money. At this point, there's no doubt that America First is balls deep involved in Power yeah. Chat. That's why we've abandoned using Power Chat as a service. The real question is whether or not people's info is at risk. And I don't believe that it is. I don't believe that they have access to user info that would be compromising on the back end based off the explanation I've had on how the API works. And my big question is, if stuff would be leaked, wouldn't it have been leaked by now? Wouldn't... Well, that's that's another interesting thing. So, I mean, he, here's one of the things I guess would be a counterpoint to that. Baked Alaska is going in for a federal plea deal on the 22nd, which is three days from now. We don't know exactly what, uh, you know, details are a part of that. Louise on the stream says that Baked is going to sign a deal for six months in federal prison in Florida. Yeah. That he's going to serve the entire thing at a minimal, uh, a minimum facility, whatever. He calls him a pussy for taking the deal, said he should have went to wow, court. Wow, that is interesting to know. Or whatever. Um, but it's weird that Baked is up on federal charges for January 6th. Baked is directly involved yeah. with PowerChat, makes friends work on PowerChat. Groypers are working as developers for PowerChat. And what does PowerChat serve? Yeah, it serves IP2, but who gives a shit about, you know, yeah. crackheads in the desert in an RV? What's the other major group that this serves? People that would donate to a show uh, like yours or people that are donating to, you know, right wing shows, which are the majority of what Cozy is, isn't it? So the, you've got uh, right-wing oriented people donating money through Yeah, uh, I mean, Power the question Chat. is whether or not Baked is selling the payment details to the feds as part of a plea deal, right? But it still just hasn't been proven that he has any access to that or that anybody at PowerChat has access to those details. And until that occurs, like, for me, I am pretty much 100% convinced that everybody's details are safe. Because uh, remember, the I don't only know, man. Thing, it's pretty suspect to me. Chat is collecting info. If they are, it would only be whatever you manually input into actually Power Chat. The back door. But you used man, a oh, big brain on Andy Worski. But you used that service. You used it. <sighs> He's trying to make it seem oh. Whatever information Baked Alaska, America First people got, that's all on the person entering that information. It's all on them. But you used that as your payment service, the way to donate to you guys. What? Fucking scum asses. That's what you are. You cheap ass scum asses. They're horrible. Like, con artists, really. All that stuff? That is very secure through, like, you know, like PayPal and everything. That that's just like, like the middleman. Right? So I, I, I'd like to read. I'd like to read a, a post on Kiwi Farms. Sure. <clears throat> it's from you, the Kino you know Casino. You know, it's always really, uh, really uh, reliable. Uh, I, uh, I, I know one one hundred percent, one hundred percent reliable. <laughs> sure. Yeah, one hundred percent reliable. This, yep. this guy's gonna analyze the code line by line. <laughs> yeah. So it's from so... Uh, a user, Smarty Pants. Uh, Damn it's in it. the Kino Casino thread on page two thirty eight, uh, post four thousand seven hundred and fifty five. I don't know about you guys, but from where I'm standing, the pay piggies are in big trouble. If you use PayPal to donate. Um, yes, the user can obviously dox you by PowerChat. The way PowerChat is implemented in the example you'll find in the following link, it's probably uh, very similar to the way uh, PC was implemented it. Now, bear with me. Uh, and he shows a substitution for three lines of code, right? And he says that by substituting one line of code for a console log and using the PayPal button in the example to make a payment of one cent, you'll find that your console 
in the console, your full docs, name, email, billing address, phone number. You can find the console tab in the bottom well, right. Well, all your information exposed right there. So it looks like, no, it's not very safe at all. Wow. Imagine that. Wow. Needless to say, all this information can easily be stored in a database by PowerChat. Now, I don't know the validity of that. I mean, this is something that just went up. I don't know how to code, but Listen, all I, don't all know I see how is to code either. Right. But all I all, all I see is Google Pay is now, you know, Louise is implementing a, a percentage being taken from that. And now somebody's saying, well, if you just alter this one line of code, now we can store shit uh, comfortably. Right. That, I that, mean, this, that is, would this is a guy on Kiwi Farms, <laughs> let's say that, like, one that like, would you require know. Power Chat to somehow hack the person's actual password for that uh, stuff. No, it wouldn't, Andy Worski. You don't, you put in the information there, right? Your credit card information, your payment information, all that stuff, your address, whatever. Whatever information you put into it when you make the donation, that one line of code would then give you access to that information. Not their password, you dumb cokehead. Yeah, so like, there is no way that power chat can actually hack into someone's PayPal That's information not what they're or any saying, of that shit. Dumb mother... there, like, there, like there is no way. He, he's so it's dumb. Wait, wait, it's it, they, they never communicate like, with at all. Exactly. So the only the only thing that technically, if they were to sell any information uh, out of feds, would like potentially be can you say a put sentence? your real name in the form yeah. or, or or your real information. <laughs> so. That's how we like, 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 see how it works. Oh my god! Like, yeah, I'm not. Like, I'm not see, saying see, that you guys. See, are see, this. See, I'm see, just saying that I, it, it looks really fucking shit. It does. Um, oh yeah, 100%. No, I, I yeah. mean, of course it does. Yeah. Well, there's a reason people are, you know, getting upset. Yeah. But uh, so far as I'm concerned, it hasn't been proven. We've got a guy who may or may not know how code works or how a fucking computer works or anything. Yeah. On Kiwi Farms saying. This is how it works. Um, well, I don't wait, even know to how be fair, in, in, uh, you know, in a follow-up post, he said that he is the highest-ranking member of Geek Squad, so you can trust him. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. That's true. We'll that trust. We'll trust, we'll trust it. We'll trust it. But for me, it's I. I look well, at it more Well, PPP. So this as, is these are good faith posts. Okay. I know, so we need to take them as good oh, faith yeah. posts. <laughs> I look at it as somebody trying to stir well, the pot and stir shit, and yeah. I get it. I did the same thing during New Project Two. The same thing is now happening to me. In a way, it is a level of karmic justice, but with both things, at the end of the day, I think it's a bit fucking overblown. Yeah. And everybody knows, everybody wants to have fun, everybody wants to shit post, everybody wants to start a drama. That's how it is. <clears throat> I know that. So I don't begrudge them, but I find it hard to take that post as gospel fact, you know? You know, and and also I'll, I'll say this, even besides, you know, because from what I, I gather, there's no information being stolen or sold to feds, right? <laughs> but even with that being said, you're right. The minute we heard Bake was little, on board, it was an went. instant call. Power chat needs to fucking go. Uh, like, like there's no way. I, I don't know what their plans are with it. But even if it is to make a profit, that's still, in my opinion, helping America first which we don't want, obviously, because of our message. Yeah. Well, it, the funny thing is, in the interview, uh, Louis, is uh, like, uh, he thinks that you two are going to come crawling back on your hands and knees. Uh, I think he refers to you as bitches and says that you'll beg him uh, to get back on the platform no. because you won't be able to use anything else. No. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'd sooner just not make money at that point yeah. than knowing what I know That's now. So you'll either. never go back to Power Chat, never, no matter never, what. Never, never. No, there's never, no way. Never. We will, and, and neither is Jaden, or and neither is anybody else. We talked like, to everyone. Done. Yeah, everyone. Like, we know like the info is not sold, but whatever the fuck they're they're planning with making a profit and using it to support America first, no. And and Lowell's to say that, like, I, I mean, he, he has the right to say whatever the fuck he wants, but we will not be returning to Power Chat. Ever. Oh shit! It was oh no! I hate the stage. Place. Uh, after we removed it, right? So after when all when all this was happening, why didn't you guys just talk to your chat about it? Because it seems like you kind of tried to play it off or you didn't want to address it. We, we kind of did, but what ended up happening is I went more off on a tangent about oh, Josh that came across so as egotistical and insane. So then we did address it with we the did. chat, yeah. but then I turned it more so into a Josh thing. Do you think I, what Josh said was fair? 
Uh, I don't know if it was. I, I I'd say you know what it's it's fair. You know what I would say yeah. this assessment is somewhat fair. Yeah. Um, but where I was coming at it from was I'm trying to get under Josh's skin. I'm making a lot of statements that are very hyperbole. <laughs> it, well, some well Josh did post a couple posts now involving in the thread kind of... and stuff like that. But, yeah, but I will... Josh, now, Josh is getting pelted, pelted by tomatoes. <laughs> so uh, I mean, how, do, how did get, that work out? Not, he's not getting pelted by the tomatoes. It didn't work as I wanted it to work. But my intention with that was, you know, in the past I have been able to bother Josh and rattle his fucking cage and. I'd like to dance with Josh and try and rattle his fucking cage, and that's what I was doing. But we did play the power chat stuff. Well. Like that was like like Ashton's <clears throat> like like banter over there. Well, I, I mean, I think but... what people saw it as, at least this is my perception of it, is you built up a show kind of uh, you know uh, focusing on uh, grifting and bullshit, especially coming from like Fuentes or from Ralph and stuff. But you know, a good portion from Fuentes, and then it comes out that like you know he. As we hear from Louise, Groypers are involved, Bakes involved, everybody's fucking involved in this. I think people felt like they wanted more than just you know five minutes or That's shitting fair. on Josh That's to fair. talk about this. Because how do you build a show up shitting on dudes and then use their payment processor to make money off your audience it, for it, shitting on them? It's right? fair. It's fair. Yeah. It's a it's a fair criticism. Do you know? It's not. Uh, it's a very out of fair criticism. Field, it's not fucking insane to say well, that. Well, I, I I think what really was oh, was sort of like man, why we brushed it off more than we should have, uh, was the accusation that we were working with feds. Like they literally said, "Hey, Ashton and Andy are working with feds, this and that," and they overblew it to something that's so ridiculous to us that it was almost like a, oh, okay, like. No. The fuck? Well, it's, it's honestly like, like it was now. just kind of like me giving a fuck you, you know, which you know I mean? wasn't yeah. probably the right. It wasn't the right way to go. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's the reality. Well, you were full of piss and vinegar about MB2, Chinese mafia. I sure was. Uh, good, good yeah. faith I and sure all of that. Uh, Josh clearly is still upset about it, uh, which yeah. is understandable. Um, so yeah, I mean, it is like you said, it is ironic to see this kind of happening now. Yeah. Now, if the old PPP, if this, if this situation reversed and it was Jim sitting with Andy as co-host and the old PPP was coming in here and I gave the explanations you did about power chat. What he would the old PPP He wouldn't say? accept them, but the difference what would it, what, is, no, not that the, he wouldn't accept them. What would he say? What would he say in that situation? He'd be like, you motherfucker, you grifting piece of shit. You're working for the feds. Da, 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 da. Here's this. Exactly, here's this. Exactly. The thing is, I'm not the oh, same person did he as change? I was fucking two, three years ago. A lot of things have changed with me and I've embraced the grift. And, you know, the gym of 2014, 2015 would also say different things about the gym of 2022 as well. You know, so you can see I how what, it is. I think what Ashton is saying is he's grown as a person. Well, I've very, changed. That's very sweet of you. No, I I've know, changed. You have, you I, was have, very, I was very immature back in the day, trolling, fucking trying to fuck up everybody's grift, everybody's fucking livelihood. You were. But I'm now in that position what where I'm fuck? grifting. It's my livelihood. And I realize there's really nothing wrong with making money online. You know? Oh, and wow. I think you came to the same. Okay. So to understand this, to really soak this in here, this guy with this, this Vegas Hawaiian shirt thing, he did that. He was anti-grift. He would go in there and just disrupt everyone's fucking it, A lot of people's stuff. Okay. Sending a message of. Don't grift, don't grift. And now he wants to do it. See, I had this idea. I thought, man, it seems like this guy just really wants to bulldoze over other people so that he could then, like, sit on the throne, you know, you know, sit on, on a pile and be like, oh, now you have to give me your money. Okay. Uh, mm, anyway. Fucking position over time. You know? So there's a difference between me from two, three years ago and, and me from today. Again, I went through a lot in my personal life. I had a best friend of four years. You know, it didn't work out with him. He called the police on me. I was in a quasi homeless state living off COVID bucks. I didn't want to fucking take the Why vaccine. Why am I messing up right there? Uh, I couldn't oh, find fucking work. This pissed me off. This I ended up, so you know, like dead fucking broke in a cabin in the middle of the woods in winter freezing. There was no insulation. I was fucking freezing, struggling, and it was in that cabin. When you when you're that cold, and you can't make it stop, 
and you have that personal betrayal in your life and the guy is talking about your personal life and everything like that. I made a vow to myself I would I'm never. I'm sorry. This is getting good. Is this a pity me story? Is this a poor me, pity me? That's what it sounds like. Forever let myself get to that position again. <clears throat> and, you know, one of the only opportunities available to me at that time, because I didn't want to take the vaccine and I couldn't get work from home, was to start grifting. And I knew Andy knew how to make money. And I called Andy up and Andy helped me get started. He fucking got me equipment. I sent him like, all this money and stuff. And, 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 and when we yeah. did start to make money and everything, you know, was was going well and I went to pay him back. I said no. He, he said no. He said, said don't, no. you know. Look, but, but times change and people change. Well, and well, so well, that's well, my This point. is so pathetic. If you know anything about these people, it's so pathetic. And on that. Well, a big thing, too, to, to say about how he's changed. When we talked, obviously, it was sketchy. Because Ashton has said probably the most vile things about me that any person on the internet has said, yeah. besides Ralph. Like, no, there I, are videos of, of Ashton, like, saying I, crazy. I think I've said, put a bullet in his head. I think I've my said family, the same thing about My Jim. family and shit, yeah. But, but the thing was, I, was uh, I had just ended my show with Tyler. I always thought Ashton was funny, whether like, even though he was a little bit psychotic. And I thought, hey, a show with two who used to be enemies, you know? And the more I talked to Ashton, we were like talking before the show even started. And I would say we became very friendly with each other. And you didn't seem like the Ashton you were before, definitely, 100%. And then we fired, then I sent you all that money. I paid for the, the Fiverr chick for the intro. I got everything all ready. Um, I, in all fairness to Ashton, again, he did go, well, after we made our first check, or like the first proper check, he went, Andy, here's the like thousand. And I went, no, listen, we're in this together. Let's fucking do it. So yeah, that's, that's how that whole wow, thing look at that. Uh, materialized. But Ashton okay. was, and, was well, and, and, and I yeah. think that's, that this leads kind of in, into some of the other things. So uh, let's talk about Godwinson. Sure. First off, can you say his name? Can Godwinson. you say Godwinson? Because the chat X, the chat. Godwinson, if you need context here, is a, uh, a a creative collaborator with the PPP guy who's wearing that very disgusting shirt. It's gross, right? It's horrible looking. It's like, what is that? It's like Vegas vomited on your chest and you're wearing it. It's gross. Well, Godwinson knows the old PPP, the one that's anti-grift, and he exposed it. He exposed the Kino Casino for what it is. In response to that, PPP decide, decided to release a hit piece and dox Godwinson, his, his name and all that, his name and like PayPal, his PayPal ID. Okay. So, there's your context. Chat X. No, no, say, just like, say his name. Say his he, name, motherfucker. Can, can, you, say, can, can you say Godwinson? Yeah, of course I can. The reason I didn't want to address it is because myself and Godwinson were such good friends. And me and him had said to each other, you know, uh, we're never going to say a bad word about each other. And I, I took that very seriously because of our friendship. And I never wanted to say a bad word about him or fight with him on the internet or anything like that. I just didn't want to did. have fucking drama but you did, with though. him. You did. And my hope was if I ignored it, it would go away. But, you know, I should have known better. You know, I know how it fucking goes. I know how the playbook is. And I shouldn't have fucking done that. But I didn't want to fire back at Godwinson about stuff that, because in order to rebut some of what he's saying, I have to go into some of his personal life and I don't want to reveal like some of the details and stuff like that I didn't want to fucking go into. Well, speaking of that, I think one of the big criticisms of the video that you put out was the accusation you doxed him by putting up his PayPal information. Did you? Uh, well, so here's what happened. I wanted to make it very clear that it wasn't kayfabe, it wasn't whatever, he did take the money. Now, me and Andy got drunk as fuck I'm sitting there. We're talking about the situation, and I'm like, "So he yes, did, but he was drunk, so it's put okay." Out, up about Godwinson, and he's like, "No, I never did." So I put it, I, I put it on. He's like, "Shit, we should, we should just throw this up." Because... I think it's funny, you know. It's, it, it's at least oh. something until the interview with you. And a lot of the points that 
coach was making, I felt were relevant to the personal situation between me and him and whether or not he was going to come on to the show and things like this. So I'm like, oh, okay, we're going to throw that up. And I was like, well, how do I spice it up a little bit? I saw on the, it and was then I passed the, out as you saw in the well, video. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I literally we passed like right out. At the bottom of the 40 ounce <laughs> bottle of vodka, fucking bunch of beers, bunch of sides, you know what I mean? Yeah. So anyway, uh, then I'm on that same Shitstream Archive channel. I see the video of talking about the hats where Godwinson criticizes you for selling out and grifting and selling hats and all this shit. Sure. And I go, this is a video where Godwinson makes his position on grifting very, very clear that all forms of monetization are wrong and that you shouldn't involve yourself in it. You're selling your soul. You're sending the wrong message to children at school to be e-celebs instead of doctors and lawyers. And this was his position. So I say, okay, I'll put that up. And then what I'll do is because I'm going to throw up some DMs where he's asking me for the money, which contradicts his message in that video. And I want to put up the PayPal receipt showing that Pause right there. it doesn't contradict his message at all in that video. In fact, if you just listen to what PPP said, it makes sense. He was anti grift and taking money from the audience, not anti grift in taking money from a collaborator who's going to be paying him to, to be on the show. I mean, different thing there. Anyway, anyway, let's play this. That in fact, yes, he really did take this money because sometimes with what me and Godwinson do, it's hard to tell what's real, what's not, what's an exaggeration. The problem was I was drunk as fuck and didn't, now his name being out there, it's been out there for a long time. Even with his uh, YouTube channels he's had in the past have been called like Adam Edge of the Multiverse, stuff like this. Oh, you're doubling down. Was some sensitive okay. <laughs> right. There was, but there was some sensitive information that I didn't realize the extent of when I put that out. So he did that. And so. because of that, I trimmed out that section initially when I learned. And then I said, you know what? It's just not appropriate to leave this up. This was a mistake. And I took it down. And that's the situation with so that. So the, the, the position is that it was a drunk doxing. Yeah. A drunk dog like drive by drinking. Okay. <laughs> that um, is what it is. It's like literally but, what but, but now you've said his name again on stream. So, I, I mean, now I'm in the awkward position because I don't want to do it. But now that it's been put out there, is that his name or is that just a title? Is the sensitive information you excluded the name? Is that why you took the video down? And if so, no. why would you say the name again on stream? No, the name isn't. The name isn't what's sensitive. But I don't want to get in. Like, you know what I mean? But that is his fucking name. He goes by it. He's gone by it for years. People have known that that's his name for years. So. I had some channels with it, <clears throat> it uh, his name there. Well, was, and not only that, but it's else. been leaked out and also all over yeah. the place. It's but it was something farms, else that cow. Yeah, it was something else that was part but of the that But the intention PayPal. wasn't to dox him no, or whatever. My intention was just to make kind of a drunken shit post about him and kind of expose a bit of the hypocrisy. It wasn't supposed to be a serious video. It wasn't supposed to be me intimidating him, but I did make a mistake by doing that and I own up to that. So why hold back? It seems like uh, Godwinson made a lot of claims in his video, uh, you yeah. know, um, fuck. So Godwinson made yeah, a lot of claims in Yeah, let's get into that. Video. Get into all those claims. Uh, are any of them true? Were you planning on firing Worski? Was uh, Godwinson gonna become a, a co-host on the show? Uh, what was the situation with, what is it, Persepity? Was he going to have a show I with you, Godwinson? I bet you Worski. What, yeah, no, I, mean, I, 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 my... yeah. I bet you Worski is going to throw PvP under the bus, say it like you didn't know anything about this. My uh, a perspective, I'll give my perspective from what I knew, okay? And then he'll, he'll talk about what actually happened behind the scenes. From what I gathered <clears throat> was that Godwinson uh, uh, had given Ashton the blessing to, do, to have the show with me, right? And he was like, oh, it's doing well and blah, 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 and all this stuff. But then I think it was probably four or five min a months into our show. So probably like last month or the month before that was when uh, Ashton pitched the idea of what if we got him as a third chair? And I was like, yeah, that sounds cool, right? And then that's all I knew. Like literally I knew nothing else, but Ashton will not go on. Yeah, so as Andy said, I mean, back in January, I basically had to, I told Adam, I'm like, Look, I don't want to do this, but I don't think that's true because 
You know what? Let's hold our judgment. I guarantee you they're going to say something that's going to reveal that that wasn't even true because PPP just made it seem as if uh, Andy Worski made it seem as if he knew about this from the get-go. The idea is to put God was in as a third chair. Okay, so they're going to split the money three ways. Are they? I, I, I don't feel like I have any other options. I, I got to do this. I'm fucked. I got to start making some money. I want to do the show with Andy. And what he had said to me was, he's like, you know, I absolutely understand that. You know, um, you've got to do what you got to do to survive, man. And, you know, I, I give you, you know, and I said, like, I'm not going to do it unless you tell me that it's all right. Because I really valued his opinion. I'm like, is this, do you think that this is okay? He said, you know, I think it is okay for you to do this and make some money. But he did say, he's like, you know, I don't think you should do it with Worski. He'll fuck you on the money. Da, 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 da. Now, he was wrong about that, at least so far. Andy has always honored our commitments in terms of pay, and I've honored them with him, yes, that yes. sort of thing. Yes. But Adam told me at that time, it was a couple episodes into the show, probably two, three weeks in, he said to me, I, I, I you know, I, I'm going to probably leave the internet for a long time. I'm probably never going to be back. I may interact with you. I may call you from time to time, and we may check in. We may hang out in real life in the future, things like this. But I've got this. Here we have it so far that Andy Worski knew that Godwinson might come in. PPP was talking to Godwinson, saying that he might come in as a as a replacement, though. Not as a third chair, but as a replacement, it sounds like. So it sounds like what Andy was saying in the beginning of this isn't true. The new, you know, dream job. Um, and it, it was a job that he was really excited for in a field that he had always been interested for in. And he was working for somebody that was very important and very influential and a, a public figure. And I don't want to go into it too much. I sat down and I, I recorded a video yesterday, a couple days ago, going into more detail, but I don't think it's appropriate to do so. Um, but but this job he got, right? It was a new job, new prospects, new opportunity. Why are you talking about it? So oh. about six months later, I think it was June 2nd, he comes back online and he gives me a call and we start shooting the shit like we usually do. We're talking about mo what movies we've seen, what's going on in the world and policy. We're, you know, we're talking for hours. And I ask him about the job that you know, he's been doing. And he kind of just tells me a big fucking sob story about this fucking, this job that he's doing that, you know, it is really, inf it is, you know, working for somebody influential, somebody important, but it's not what he thought it was going to be. That he's kind of being treated as like the office gopher, the office bitch boy. He's being told to fucking make this guy tea. He's being told to fucking make this guy sandwiches. This motherfucker is like uh, requesting that Adam uh, uh, Godwinson rub his fucking shoulders while he's working so he doesn't fall asleep. He's having fucking Godwinson. He's like, can you oh, help what? Calm down, I can actually you died the first boss. Simulated? I've never, so my fucking good possible? friend sitting here having to rub this guy's shoulders, fucking whistling Dixie. He's saying, you know, my time is not my own anymore. I blame DPP for being um, in my ear on this I one. wish I could fucking have the freedom to not have to do this schedule. I'm having to work a lot of fucking overtime. This guy's fucking bringing me in on my days off. And sometimes it seems like it's just to fucking embarrass me. Like, apparently he brought him in on the weekend and asked him to wash his fucking car for him. This is the sort of shit he was having to deal with. And one of the things that was really fucking heartbreaking for me to fucking hear, this public figure, they're supposed to go to a children's cancer hospital together. You know, him and this public figure are going to go to the children's cancer hospital. Uh, I, I mean, I, I got to interrupt you a little bit. Here. Yeah, okay. I know. So, I'm going on a long, long tangent. No, it's not that. But it's like you, you understand, like, he's totally fucked now, right? Well, I don't think he's totally fine. I, I do. I mean, you've given out his name. You've confirmed it. Now you've confirmed the kind of job he works in. And then you've given a specific not, event. I mean, you, gave, you gave a specific event he went to with this guy. So now all anybody has to do is look up an event that's similar to that with a guy. Yep, his, his you kind of screwed your and now they know him. best friend. So why the fuck him. would you do that, man? Not good. Listen, I just think it's important to provide some context to why I was considering working with him. And I think that the stories are important 
in a sense to to bring that up but i haven't mentioned in specific certain details that i think really would fuck him i'm trying to leave those out of the story oh, I, th I think you've double ticked him at this point I, I just wanted to know what I guess the start of the business relationship was, uh, you know, okay, so I, I kind of understand how it's structured between you two and, you know, the Percept thing saying that he was going to, Andy, I think you brought that up, that he was going to do a, like a, a show with Godwinson. Was that something that was going to happen? I mean, it sounds like there was a negotiation to get him on there, the channel. I mean, there, there was a negotiation. There was a negotiation. Did, between... did that involve money? It did. By the way, the negotiation he's talking about. Godwinson did a video where he revealed that there was some stuff behind the scenes where PPP wanted to do a show with him and kick off Andy Worski. That it was that he he could fire Andy Worski and it would just be him and Godwinson. But that's not what happened. It involved money. I mean, what the ultimate agreement had become was to <clears throat> I was going to pay him because he needed to quit this job and he needed assurances. I was going to pay him £2,000 a month to do the show, uh, you know, and, and whether or not he was going to be the third chair all the time, or if he was going to be providing edited content, there was a lot of back and forth on that. But the agreement was I was going to pay him £2,000 a month. And I ended up paying him um, because I could only send $1,000 at a time was the limit. I sent him the first payment of that. Uh, which was like eight hundred dollars, and then the expectation would be that I would send God continued payments each week in order to get him his rate. We were going into the show with Flamenco. Um, that's when I thought it would be a great idea to bring him on board for the show. Yeah, can uh, I do? And, a, can I do oh, an aside uh, for that uh, with the? Yeah, uh, a real fast. Go, go ahead, Anne. Because uh, uh, I had no idea about this agreement. Zero percent. I had no idea about this agreement. See what I say. Complete lie. Complete lie. Complete lie. Uh, what, what, what did, what did Worski say in the beginning? That he thought it was a good idea to bring Godwinson as a third chair? <laughs> okay, okay. Like, a knowledge? And Ashton was literally taking it out of his pay, not mine at all. I literally <laughs> yeah. had... <laughs> Andy, no Andy, idea. I had all no those, idea. all those, all those workouts you've been doing help you get the muscle strength to throw his ass under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know this fucking man. I have nothing no, to do no, with this fucking no, man. No. I'm, I'm saying that because that's you what you just a did. Tweet that I, what Ashton told me, and this is true, he told me that he had paid Godwinson to do a show with Persep and, and and Squire, I think. Now that's why I had tweeted that four days ago. Now. The Ashton told me the truth like yesterday or the day before, and I'm just letting you know that I wasn't lying in my tweet. That's what I was. No, well, it it did end up turning into that. So the situation yeah. with flamenco happens. Well, and... actually, I've got I've got two things now. Yeah. Now, now we'll get into the fun stuff. So, right. um, you and Godwinson, would you say you were friendly before all this? Of course. Yeah, good friend. So okay, so you just docked his ass on string. Now, <laughs> Andy, going back to what we talked about with Power Chat. Even if we don't know if Power Chat is routed through AF Groypers doing tax support and shit, like I mean, we don't. So it could be it could be Clean Luis might you know be straight up on that. I don't know. I really don't. I don't code. Yeah. But you did bring up the point that yeah, the end the end user you know like what happened with Beardson does get the information. Mm -hmm. So if I were in your audience right now and I found out one of the co-hosts just threw his friend under the bus, and I'm a donator. How do I feel safe giving you my information through a donating platform, even if it's not PowerChat? If you're using, you know, any other alternative, how do I know? Like, who's handling the money? Am I safe? What if Ashton gets mad at me? It's it's me. Uh, it's it was it, it's through my email, um, or was until now. Like he's yeah. using Stream Elements because I was fucked uh, two days ago. I I know what you're saying, uh, but. In all fairness to Ashton, he was, again, drunk as fuck and he didn't mean to do that. And I don't think that he thought that that story would connect uh, Adam with anything. Well, I know, I know. But just from the audience's perspective. Sure, yeah. I mean, yeah. if, that, no, if, that right. was, if, if that was a friend getting fucked and I'm just a pay pig, right? Um, I, I'm not your friend. <laughs> How do I know I'm not the next, uh, you know, uh, victim like uh, Beardson? You know I, what I mean? Like, we threw that guy uh, under the no reason. Good question Look, there. gotten some of the craziest donos. Horrific, saying the most horrific shit. Mm -hmm. And I would never, 
and Ashley mm -hmm. would never. I, I think the reason a Ashley's telling this story is it's a lot more deeper and personal, and it sort of it explains sort of like the overall story that he's trying sure to convey does. here. Uh, as for for uh, people who donate. We would never, like, I would never give someone's information, and I really think that Ashton wouldn't do that either. And, and to be fair, I, I haven't seen that happen. I'm just asking yeah. it because no, it's related it, it's to the it's fair. Fucking... Well, I, I suppose it is a fair question. It is fair. Sure. I don't know. I, I tried to tell that story in a way that wouldn't fuck him over, but I don't know. I guess you're viewing it as it would fuck him over. I, I'm trying to leave things out, so you're, it is what it is. Somebody used to stop oh, talking just, about it. doing what it normally does. You'll have to resend the link in 10 minutes when it shuts. Yeah. To, going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. to going to the flamenco thing. Okay. Um, that was a disastrous stream. Yeah. I thought you guys had him on a silver platter and you were going yes. to his ass. The, no, to send his ass to the graveyard, and it was shit. Yeah. So, uh, you know, my question, I guess, from that is... Um, what happened? Well, what, yeah, what happened? Okay, because sure. uh, there are a few questions. I, One, what happened? Because people had said that you held back. This is specifically to Andy, that you wouldn't show information or let people no. show information okay. on stream. Let, let me explain it. Well, like, but, let, let, genuinely yeah, let. Yeah. Well, 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 you can say your part. So, I, so Ashton has only he has been on the phone with Todd Winston and these guys all day. Hey, we have this all fucking set up or whatever. Sure. I was at the gym. And and I was like, all right, cool. Andy Worski like did hold back on that. So I went in there more like, is like, like I had no idea Amico what was happening. Like almost, almost zero clue besides some basics of people calling Flam a pedophile. So I was caught completely off guard by like what was happening on that stream. And Ashton has more of a clearer picture of that. So what happened Good was, you know, out there. me and Adam were discussing bringing him into the show, potentially me and him doing a show, potentially him even replacing Andy at a certain point once the show, oh, there was a Andy's coup. show had reached kind of its natural There was going to be a coup. Um, and I thought, this is a great opportunity. Some crazy shit's come out about flamenco. Uh, I'm being told we have all this evidence, all this sort of shit, and it's all being compiled in the drive. Me and Adam get on a call. And we try and convince Flamenco to do it because he doesn't want to do it. We're like, we're going to clear your name, brother. Don't you worry. Da, 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 da. We scam him into doing the show. Totally scam him. He believed it. And uh, the reality of it was it was all prepared for us. But we were just too fucking arrogant. Way too overconfident. Didn't look over the material that was provided. Didn't have a firm enough grasp on all of this fucking shit. And one of the big mistakes was not bringing Andy into the planning as well and having Andy briefed on what was in the drive. And so because me and Adam were fucking way too arrogant, way too overconfident, thought it was just a slam dunk, we didn't give a fuck, oh, and it went the way it did. It was a fucking disaster. I but I don't fucking blame Andy for that because he wasn't adequately well, prepped either. Well, I why, why was Persepity so, I think it was specifically him, so dead set on saying that it was Andy's fuck up? Listen, Can you explain because that? It's, because it's hard to admit when your heroes fuck up and fail. It's hard to admit that me and Adam were fucking way too arrogant coming into that stream, and we didn't fucking do it quite right than it is to blame fucking Andy, who he doesn't necessarily like for it failing. It, that's, that's I think, the reason why, I to remember. be honest. And they were in denial and were telling me it went perfect, it went great. Uh, and, and, and Adam thought it went perfect and great as well. And I said, no, it's really not went as well as we thought. Now, you know, there was some moments where we got Flam pissed off. We were clearly fucking with him. But to me, that's not enough to justify, you know, the stream. To well, be honest. But also too, yeah, when I was being blamed for that, I was like when people were like, Why aren't you showing the evidence? I'm like, what fucking evidence? Send me a link, I'll put it on the screen. No one called me. There was even like a like me and Ashton had a, a little back and forth for like a minute. It was like only like one minute where Ashton was like, Oh, you didn't back us and I'm like, Ashton, I had no idea what I was walking into. And I'm not going to just this like, sounds head crazy. Up to the I don't I don't believe this at all. You're a pedophile, you know. And Godwinson was the one who was like everyone's like where's the I evidence? Mean, listen, You're a pedophile. He, where's the evidence? You're a listen, pedophile. Listen, he brought it right at the beginning. Yeah. Are you a pedophile? Yeah. Yes or no. 
at that point i followed his lead on it and i honestly was like basically a lot of the part of the copying his mannerism shit like this yeah we i backed him to the hilt on that and we just tried to steamroll the fucking guy but it just didn't work so That's you cool. lost to a 34 year old autistic man that <laughs> dresses tough. up like a, a vtuber <laughs> popping a cup it's tough, but he's having that. his own. I, I just want to make sure I have this straight. No, You're telling me that Nicholas D. Oreo and Augie did a better job than, than you me, and Godwinson. Than me and Godwinson. <laughs> well, but listen, that's that's why we didn't prepare because on paper it's like this is Mike Tyson and fucking Muhammad Ali fighting a fucking disabled cripple. How can you lose? Somehow a disabled cripple felt at us. What can I say? What can I say? Okay, so. <laughs> just to sum up where we are right now par chat might have been compromised we don't know they might have information we don't know you guys did stop using it you're using something else mm. um i do kind of think you doxed godwinson i think that was kind of a shitty thing i do think that raises some issues about information can i not use the uh, um your jannies have left you why have your jannies left you what's the relationship with you and persip and all the others right now are they still on your team because they don't seem to be so is there a fallout behind the scenes what's going on well i don't know like the Janny, this or that. I mean, at the end of the day with them, they were prepping some stuff for me. Um, that wow. role diminished a lot over the last six weeks anyway, before any of this really happened. Like for the last month, they hadn't been prepping anyway. And honestly, it doesn't really come down to any of this drama as to why. They're just fucking burned out. A lot of the time for them, it's like, we've been doing this drama shit for years and fucking years. We're not drawing a paycheck out of this and we're just kind of tired. And that's kind of where they've moved on. But so far as like, I think he had a spat with Andy on Twitter and that sort of thing. Yeah. That is what it Damn is. it. And, and I want to say one thing that Godwinson brought up. This is not I good. Wanna make, uh, I want to bring to light. <clears throat> sure. Over the last, I'd say, what, like a month and a half. Uh, so I was helping out with the show a lot, right? And Godwinson was saying, oh, Persip and Squire do more uh, show prep than Andy. Now, the reason th th that is true currently right now, but the reason is Ashton and I had a talk and, and the deal is still on. I asked them, I'm like, look, the training is fucking brutal. Like, it's like literally, I got punched in the face probably like 50 times today. You know what I mean? Like, it's fucking brutal. It's four, I don't think he's training at all. Like five hours of working out. I gotta eat like like, like insane amounts of food that I, I don't want to eat. All that stuff. I'm not crying about it, but all I asked Ashton was I said, Hey bro, do you mind if you focus on the show prep until after the fight? I'll help out with what I can if I find something interesting or a link or something. Oh fuck, wait a second. I, and, do, I think the audio got screwed up. Did you hear that, Andy? No. I could have sworn no. I heard a, a bus going by. Were you throwing him no, under the bus wait, a second time? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, no. I look at you like, you're like, oh, yeah, oh the was. show went to shit in the last no, six weeks, but no. it went to shit because I put him in charge. No, no, no. That's <laughs> not, no, that's I, not I what mean, I'm saying at all. No. <laughs> that's what he was saying, indeed. Okay, oh, wait a second. We're going to watch the rest of this. But yeah, I'll say even from the starting of the show, Ashton Here's has been the fucking brainchild of the content. I'm not... I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is the reason Here, I Here, let me just helping... explain it. I mean, look, uh, we, I, I do, me and, and Person Square did do most of the fucking sure, crap yes. on the show. Andy contributes I here and the there, but the, the expectation helmet. really, at least for the last four or five, has not really been for Andy to be prepping shows. And Andy said to me when he got this deal with the fight purse that he would give me, because we've been doing more of the prep, that he would give me half of it. And I said to Andy, that's fucking insane. He did, yeah. You don't give me half of the fucking purse. And it's a big This purse. is your health. Your health is your wealth. You might get fucked what? up substantially. And and I said, look, I'll take a small percentage out of it to compensate for the extra work I was doing. But Andy's like, no, I want you to have 50%. We're 50% partners on everything. And, once and that paid, is a very generous thing of him to do. And once okay, I'm paid uh, well, after the fight, okay, I'm going to... Wow, we, uh, it sounds like PPP is yeah, cut can, can right here? You might you want to start a Google thing, because this is about to die. Sure, sure. Uh, PPP was doing more. Uh, just, pop, uh, just send me the DM and I'll pop it. Uh, okay. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Okay. Alrighty. Sorry, everyone. I thought I was on my other profile there. One sec. Let me switch to this. This one I have unlimited. Email. Okay. 
Okay, round Dead one, air. and sack for them to join. All right. right here. Hey. And we are back, and I switched the email, so it should be an unlimited call now. Um, okay. Yeah, so... Oh, no, am I coming in? You hearing me? Yep. Yeah. Okay. You hear okay, cool. All right. So, yeah, so the reason I did step away from the show, like from the prep, that is true. I did offer him 50%, but he, like, like Ashton, like, phoned me three or four times over the last month and went, I can't take 50%. But Look the deal still stands. I, I'm a, he a seems man like of honor man. when it comes to all that stuff and business deals. That once I'm paid after the fight, he will get 50% minus the uh, the the few thousand for the training, the training which is like I, I I I'm showing him the bills and everything and blah blah blah. He's coming with me to the UK. So let me get this straight. So it's 50-50, but your expenses are the show expenses. That's interesting. Huh, look at that. Look at that. Look how when the deal was of PPP is going to be working with Godwinson, that's going to be out of his paycheck. But when it's like the fight stuff, the training stuff, that's going to be out of the show's money. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Tell me more about that. And sure. I will and, and I will give him half of whatever I make, no matter what it is. And, I, and he's been very supportive of me doing like the whole fight shit. So that was why, that was why I stepped away for like about a month and a half so far. But now okay. I'm, I'm back into helping and all that stuff. While well, let me ask you a follow up question to your training thing. So do you think your response to a lot of the shit that's been going on for like the last two or three weeks? Cause there's been a lot coming in. I know Ralph is uh, jiggling his tits in anticipation of trying to fuck you over. You got the power shit shit, mm. uh, the Godwinson stuff, the Flamenco stuff. It's been kind of a hit after hit, lots of tomatoes. Yeah. Do you think your response has been limited uh, due oh, to contractual obligation on how you respond to things to keep this fight going on. Yeah, I can't go, like, I told Ashton this, I can't go all in the way I really want to on certain things. Uh, Ashton knows the words I can't say. Um, and he knows, like, I have to be like a really good boy. You know what I mean? I'll make jokes here and there, like you've seen on Twitter and shit, but I have to be very limited um, on what I say and who I interact with. Especially until e the fight. even even beyond like just responding to the recent drama, but just kind of in general. In general, yes, hundred well, percent. So, yeah. I mean, as crazy as this is, do you think Ralph was right when he said no to Keemstar? He was like, if I can't say this, if I can't do no, this, no. I I think the shows that me and Ashton Man, do, like I love get that. doing the show. I've been having a lot of fucking fun with the shows as of late. I laugh a lot. People go, oh, fake laugh, fake laugh. No, it's a real, it's real laugh because. I think Ashton's one of the funniest people on the internet. Like he's oh, fucking hilarious he's when he's a, a, on fire. Um, and not saying the N word and F slur or, you know. Or, or not... certain types of, I, I guess, topics. But I mean, I think one of the complaints was oh. not that like Andy fakes laughs, Man, but you know, like you, you talked about the fight a lot and people have been. Oh yeah. Complaining about the show, I guess, quality over the last couple of weeks. And you know, you've been training for a couple of weeks and this is coming up. Uh, do you think Ralph had a point in that? That like, oh shit, it's gonna fuck my show if I can't respond how I want to respond? Uh, no, because I keep the the fight and training talk very like, like to a minimal. When it, it it started, when it was like just announced, I was super excited. and I was talking about it way more, but I I limited that. Uh, but the fighting yeah, it's boring. And me what too. Did it? Yeah, so did it drop the stream? It happens for for a second. We should be back. Yeah, we're back. We're back. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, no, I I love what I'm doing right now. It's exciting. Me and Ashton have an experience that not many people have the chance to experience. And I I get what Ralph's saying. Oh, I want to talk about this or that. For me, honestly, dude, it's not. I'm not even big into like t like talking about certain topics. Or come on, come on. I could not say the end of uh, the yeah, And some people have been upset, but most people have been very supportive and they're excited to watch the fight. Even people who hate me, they want to see me get my ass kicked. Yep. People who like me want, you know, and it's something different, I think, for the sphere and community, especially considering there's been so much fight talk. Now I'm actually going to be fighting on, on, on a huge platform. And I think it's something to shake up the show as well. And uh, yeah, that's that's what I think. Okay. Um, <clears throat> where do I want to go with this? Okay. 
So, you know, God wants to drop this video. He says what he says. You guys put up the response. It's a drunk one. So you pulled it down because you felt it was the wrong response and you kind of fucked up with it. Um, now, Goblinson isn't the only one that's going around saying a lot of shit right now. Some of the stuff I want to get into, Surfer has made some appearances and said some stuff. I guess this is particularly to PPP. Um, let me let me phrase this right because I know Ralph is stream sniping. So let me phrase this question perfectly for his fat day drinking ass. So, uh, like Ethan, Ralph has been accused of raping a woman. Alice had said that she had got him drunk and then face fucked her while she was mm -hmm. unconscious. Uh, I believe it was Surfer who had said that you had a situation in college where you were accused of yeah. rape and it was related to somebody named yeah. jory is there anything to that Listen, what's oh story? he brought up jory i had addressed this four years ago in a video called hashtag me too hashtag truth it's on my bit shoot we could play it uh but if you go to my bit shoot channel people's populist press this video i put out is one of the first videos i put out in late 2018 when all the me too stuff was going around and essentially what happened, and my story hasn't changed from then, this is something I'm not ashamed of. This is something I had told a lot of people. Like, I had told this story on stream before, so it's surprising that Surfer thinks that this is some sort of big own. But yes, when I was in college, Maybe it's a in 2016, I was a fucking a edgelord, coal tarred, and I was fucking DMing a girl on Facebook, and I DMed her some memes, and some jokes that she didn't like. And she took it to the fucking college and I was suspended for a semester because of some edgy comments that I had made. But it wasn't a fucking rape. It was to say that a lot of times with women, they get preferential treatment in college or other institutions. Well, and you're just not gonna be believed that you're kidding about certain stuff. So that's what happened with that. Hmm. So far as the guy named Jory is concerned, he was a friend of mine that was kind of a troll guy. And he said to her, it would be funny if you reported him about this. And that's what happened. But it was six fucking years ago that this happened. And I don't know why that guy deserves to have motherfuckers come at him now about that. So that's what happened with that. And you so can go back why, and watch my why video do you think four years ago. So why is why do you think Surfer has made appearances like this and brought stuff up? I I, I get that you guys had a falling out, but why does it continue past that? What's the story? I just I don't know. I think it's mental illness. I think I, I think we were so close as friends uh, to the point where people now assume that we must have been gay lovers <laughs> or something. <laughs> With the way that he reacts, I mean, he obsesses about me. Obsesses about me. When he does Bible study, I'm every bad character in the Bible. When he does any stream, Bible related, regardless, the topic is always seems to come around to me and how I was a motherfucker and this story, that story, the other story. But the thing is, if I was such a motherfucker, why was I your best friend for four years? And I understand there's bad feelings. And I said some shit about Surfer that I regret saying at the time when we had the breakup because I was emotional. But since that time, I've tried my best, aside from the odd little joke here or there that we're gay or that he scrubbed my shit off the toilet, I've tried my best to avoid it because me and him know each other's families. We know where they, like, we know a lot about each other to the point where it doesn't make sense for me to fight with this guy. And I don't know why he wants to fight with me so badly. I think it's insane to tell you the truth. He's been swatted a couple times. It w was there? You think so it was you? With the initial breakup, <laughs> as emotional as it was, I mean, cops got called, right, to the yeah. apartment. Who called the cops? Surfer called the cops. Oh. Uh, so why did Surfer call the cops? He called the cops because he thought things were going to get violent, but they did never got violent. He why did he? Th why did he think they'd get violent? Well, in the past, me and him had had fights when we were drunk or we were angry at each other, but nobody ever got hurt. And a lot of guys that have lived with another guy have had similar fucking experiences. That's not insane. And we what, had reconciled was, was, those experiences he, in the past. Was he asking for it, Ashton? Is that what you're telling me? He was... Listen, there are some things that you just shouldn't say to another fucking person when you're, like, right up close to them, especially when the motherfucker is, like, 400 pounds, okay? Like... It is what it is, folks. It is what it is. There's something I should say here, interject here. This guy on the screen, this uh, PPP guy, he can't even poop himself. 
He can't. Well, sorry. He can poop himself. He can't poop in a toilet. He can't wipe his own butt. I'm being serious, okay? The surfer guy had to clean up the toilet after him and had to take care of him because it's a, just a mess. Anyway. <laughs> so you have a close relationship with Surfer, a bit emotional. Uh, you get into lover's spats. Was there any gay relationship? What, any any I, drunk? Listen, missing? I wish. <laughs> I wish. But there was no gay relationship. Uh, it's funny to say that there fucking was. Especially when, you know, he's crying, you know, videos, I miss him, or I'm doing the same fucking thing. But listen, we were just really, really close friends. Um, we shared the same worldview, the same perspective on things. It's a real shame the way things went down. I regret the way that things went down. There are ways that I could have handled it better. But at a certain point, Ooh. we have to let this go and fucking move on with our lives. I get you know? it. I get it. I mean, but Chad is asking a reasonable question. I think they want to know uh, when you were topping Surfer, did you spit in his mouth, or mouth, or kiss him? Well, I would fucking. Sometimes you go to the neck. You know, you go to the neck. You mark your territory. <laughs> you give him a hickey. Then you, you know, pull on the hair. But then you, 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 you dial it back. You gently kiss the back of his head. You oh. whisper sweet nothings. It's all gonna be okay, my son. The ethno state will come any day now. Don't you worry. We're going to win, okay? Oh. And Daddy Jim's going to lead us, and it's going to be Gamergate 3, okay? That's what I would whisper to him as we fought. Yeah. Now, um... <laughs> okay. Uh, how do you come back from this? It seems like there's a lot of shit going on. What's your plan for coming back from this? Because I feel like you've taken damage. I'm, again, I think some of it's fucking astroturfed. I mean, I, I guarantee you, Ralph, right now, tits are jiggling as he... He's excited. Uh, said, yeah. as, he, as he, you know, sniffs something more, you know, uh, akin to the poop he usually digs out. He's, he's very happy today. Um, but how do you come back from it? And can you I, come back from it? I just, I just think the bottom line is you got to put out entertaining shows and, you know, respond to some of the criticism of chat. You know, some criticism is that we pause too it? much. Some is criticism is that, you know, there's too questions? much America First, too much Ralph content and they want more variety and we're going to try and address the criticisms that chat have that are that are valid and constructive and continue to put on shows and continue to entertain people yeah. and that's all you really can do and going forward play cards closer to the fucking chest have less you know, people involved well, in the operation uh, let, let me ask you a question this one comes from i'm guessing this is surfer that uh -huh. was uh, tweeted at me I, it, it's a, a straightforward question if PPP took down the Godwoods video because he felt bad about drunkenly doxing him, why is the video of me giving my address to the police up until this day? Well, to be honest with you, that was Surfer's decision to fucking call the police and he has to live with it. But the video is up because people need to know what fucking happened. Perhaps I'll put it up with that censored out now. Maybe that's something I should do, but I haven't thought about that in a long fucking time. And uh, a lot of the bad actors out there already have that. That's a fucking shame. I put up that video oh, what a shame. when I was very emotional and, and probably how, seeking revenge. But he's also done a lot of things very emotional to seek revenge and motherfuck me. So it is what it is. Perhaps I'll take it down and edit out that part. But you also realize my full name is in there as well. So I didn't edit anything. And uh, if I had... Maybe people would be like, well, what has he added it out? What the fuck? Oh, wait, I missed So that's why. And I want to say, uh, to answer your question, Jim, uh, like, I really love doing this show. I, I know I know this has done damage uh, uh, to our show, but there is still a very uh, a large majority of people who love it. And we like doing it. Now, I've been through this, as you know, fucking a million times, okay? The, the amount of shows and all that shit. And, uh, he's aware and, of the meme that Worski kills every show uh, he's in. Doing the show with Ashton, as bit like like this show in particular, is the most fun and and like most wild show we I've ever been part a part of. And I'm willing to take some hate wow. to keep doing it. Like I told Ashton, I, I'm on this ship until it sinks with you, bud. Because really, like what we're gonna start our own shows now to like you know all that. Or we truck through and we learn from our mistakes 
Uh, and and for anyone out there, honestly, like sincerely, if if you're disappointed in anything that you've heard today or any of the six, I'm, I'm sorry. Sounds like and it's we're over. Try to be, be better, but we're gonna keep doing this show. And it's unfortunate all this happened, but it's the nature of the beast, and I know that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I do have a few follow-up questions. Is there a retard bell? <laughs> there sure <Yeah>. is. <laughs> Yeah, and buddy. Ashton, do you do you ring it when Andy won't shut the fuck up? No, yeah, he, he should. I he do. Does, he does. I, what I'm going to start uh, to have to do is when the success <laughs> is pausing, like to pause just to laugh or yeah. to go, holy, then yeah. I'm going to have to start to fucking ring it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been ringing it for me. <laughs> uh, now, one of the, the other things, too, that came, I, I, this I, I could give a shit about, but I mean, I did see it brought up and as long as we're talking. Damn it. Damn uh, are there fake donations? You can do test donations. A lot of people are no. saying, oh, my God, these are fake donations coming in. Um, uh, hand to Christ, I swear, not one fake donation. Not one. No. Like, li all, literally. All legit on the level? I swear, yeah. Huh? All legit on the level? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100% yeah, yeah. these people are very supportive. They're that they're amazing and and we I, I thank him very thoroughly and some people donate a lot and i'm very appreciative and it really helps the show keep going we've never faked one donation yeah ever. i knew that was gonna happen i was like you know i don't think i'm okay. gonna be able to make that jump um have you seen a hit in your rant. donation since this power that, chat that, started that, 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 no that thing so it's been a consistent amount of support uh even with the fallout yeah pretty much yeah, yeah definitely and you think it'll be the same going forward yeah, I yeah. think I, I think as long as you know we're honest and not talking about this oh, earlier right. was a mistake. I agree with that completely. Um, but as long as we're honest and put on good shows, honest. As long as them. you're honest, and we promise that, especially after the like the whole fight thing, um, we're gonna be doing like other things as well, and we hope people can continue to, to support and we'll continue to put out content. You know? and I, even... think the, I think the bottom line, as long as you continue to be entertaining and deliver what people want to see, you'll make money. If you're not entertaining and you fucking suck, you won't. And that's what, what I think. What was that? Well, and, you know, now, now, you know, one of the interesting things, I, I think, in, in comparison <laughs> to like uh, Matt Jarbo and Ralph, right? It's like when Matt fucked up, he apologized. When Ralph fucks up, he doesn't apologize, right? Mm -hmm. So are you two willing to say... Uh, that you're felt at fuck boys and you made a mistake with how you handled the situation? Well, I'm not going to say I, I'm that, but I will You, you say won't tell I'm the gonna... audience no, as, a, as a show no, of contrition that, that you're, Listen, that you're you might, felt you at might, fuck boys? You might be my internet daddy, but you're not my BDSM daddy, okay? <laughs> I don't know. Is I'll chat say... demanding it? You've got 3,700 people oh, no. watching. No, Are they chat's demanding? demanding it, I'll have to do Andy, it. Andy, put a poll oh, up and, no. and see if chat wants you Ash, to say that will. as an apology. They will, want that. they will want it, Jim, but it's too bad for them. It's too bad for them. I will say we were felted. We were, we were felted. Is, but, we were felted. But, but we we, we made a, a mistake. I'm not going to be a bitch. You know, like, but I'm not your fucking personal asshole slave, Daddy Jim. I'm not asking for it. Your chat is. Look at them. They're right asking. They're demanding it. What can we do? These are the people that financially support you and lift oh, you up I to know. heights of success. They I want know. to hear you say, "I fucked I up. Know. I'm a, I'm a felt I'm sure. boy." I'm sure they did. I think I'm they would sure be, they do. I think they would be more embarrassed Damn if it. we did say it than if we did it. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, Jim. But nice try, dude. <laughs> Oh, at least put the poll Damn up. It, I'm curious it. what the percentage of chat thing. Well. This is not going to go well. All right, well, all right. I'll put the poll okay, up for you, Jim. I'll but you're... I'll, just, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll just give, ask them, are we... I'll give are you we that. I'll give... Fuck boys. Yes or no. <laughs> put that chat right. up. Are we fuck boys? Or as the, uh, the poll. All right, hold on. For you, Jim. Just because right, you were my hero <laughs> in Gamergate. Oh, yeah. Gamergate leading the way into a new uh, fucking revolution, yeah. This time, Jim. This time we'll get the feminists. This time. All right. There you go, Jim. There you go. There you go, chat. Okay, 99%. Uh, <laughs> I already no, know. Damn, 99% <laughs> melted. Oh, Fuck. no. Oh, let me see. There we are. <laughs> now, are you going to leave that one up? Or is this uh, live chat replay mysteriously going to disappear? Uh, well, the thing with the live chat replays is um, <clears throat> the reason that the ones that have been down are down uh, is because when you get like a music notification. So, for instance, 
on the one that was recently down with oh. Andy Dick, I got claimed, no fucking word of a lie, for 10 seconds of Raspberry Beret in the background of Andy Dick's fucking RV. I had to mute that section. And when you do that, it fucks with the chat replay and takes it down. But it wasn't manually disabled. And yes, this chat replay will stay up as yeah. long as that doesn't happen again. Yeah. And that poll result will stay up. We're going to let that run true. for a little while. Uh... Well, I mean, it's already overwhelming <laughs> that we got Falcon. Jim, so it can only really improve from here. We might make a comeback. You never know. My, my I'm not saying you're down. down and, I'm not saying you're down and out. I, I just, you know, like I said, I'm, I was coming on to ask the hard questions. Well, you did. I think you, you have asked some hard tough, questions. Yeah. You got me in a couple of corners. You know, you scored some uh, blows for sure. So here you have it, guys. We had our gravure content, had our retro gaming, and I did inject some internet drama into it because. This stream contains elements that kind of relate to both of the channels, the two channels that run on YouTube. I'll put clips out there as well. Okay. So with that said, you guys take it easy and have a good one. <laughs> That's a gross screen. There we go. Much better.